Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Tullwalker. This problem is famous because a version of it appeared on the Putnam Competition and the JEE Advanced. These are two of the toughest exams in the world. What is the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the power of 4 multiplied by the quantity 1 minus x raised to the power of 4 all over 1 plus x squared? Use the result to prove that pi is less than 22 over 7. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To solve this problem, we will focus on the integrand. In particular, we'll simplify the numerator. We can expand the binomial by using the binomial theorem. We then multiply each term by x to the power of 4. We'll distribute through, and then we will simplify term by term. We then want to divide this entire quantity by 1 plus x squared. We can simplify this using polynomial long division. This is a little bit of a tedious calculation, but we'll go through it step by step. We'll first rewrite 1 plus x squared as x squared plus 1. We want to eliminate the leading term. To do that, we'll multiply x squared plus 1 by x to the power of 6. We get the following result, which we'll subtract. We'll go ahead and do this calculation. We then want to bring down the next column. We then continue this process. We will eliminate the first term, subtract, and then bring down the next column as appropriate. So the next term will be negative 4x to the power of 5. We get the following result, which we'll subtract. Then we will bring down the next column. Now we've run out of room, so let me just take this result to the top. We then want to eliminate the leading term. So we multiply through and we get this result. We'll subtract out. We then get the next term, which is negative 4x squared. We again do this calculation and we want to continue one more time. We then have plus 4, so we eliminate this leading term, and we're left with a remainder of negative 4. So this negative 4 will be divided by x squared plus 1. So this is the result of polynomial long division. So we've shown that the integrand is exactly equal to the following result. We can thus compute our original integral by taking the integral of the following expression which will be much easier to compute. We will calculate the antiderivative of each term. So this is fairly straightforward. For x to the power of 6, we get x to the power of 7 over 7. Then we subtract 4 over 6 multiplied by x to the power of 6. Then we have plus x to the power of 5 minus 4 over 3 multiplied by x to the power of 3 plus 4x. The final one will be a little bit tricky, it's equal to negative 4 multiplied by the arctangent of x. From here, we want to evaluate this from 0 to 1. So we can evaluate each of these at 1. It'll be a fraction for each of these polynomial terms. For the trigonometric function, the arctangent, the inverse tangent of 1 is equal to pi over 4. So we'll evaluate that. We also evaluate each of these at 0, and notice that each of these terms will vanish. So we're going to just eliminate this entirely. We now need to simplify this. We'll take a look at the rational terms. We end up simplifying this to be 3 plus 1 over 7, and that's equal to 22 over 7. We then want to simplify the following term, and it will be equal to negative pi. Thus, we have shown that the original integral is equal to 22 over 7 minus pi. That's part one of the question. Next, we'll consider x in the interval 0 to 1. Notice that x to the power of 4 is positive in this interval, and the same goes for 1 minus x raised to the power of 4 and 1 plus x squared. Therefore, the integrand will be a positive term. It'll be greater than 0. 
So when we take the integral from 0 to 1 of a function that's strictly positive, we will get a strictly positive result. So we have shown that 22 over 7 minus pi is strictly positive, which means that 22 over 7 is greater than pi. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.